Over the recent years, there have been several developments that they have pushed the resolution limit of uh, optical microscopes all the way down to the single molecule level. And basically what we are trying to do here is to utilize this development and enable the biologists here to image deeper with higher resolution. So you can imagine if you were, let's say, viewing a scene from the left and the right simultaneously and then putting those images back together to give you extra depth information. The whole thing is all about just improving the resolution in all three dimensions to the greatest possible degree. A lot of people do imaging on single cells, so if you imagine taking cells and just growing them on a piece of glass, and we're going a bit thicker than that, so we're not looking at the entire fruit fly, but we're looking at the egg from the fruit fly. In the kind of human understanding of the world, there are still big question marks in biology. And so people that we're working with are specifically interested in proteins that set up how the cells know, let's say, which part of the cell is on the inside and which part is on the outside of the egg chamber. And so being able to, for the first time, try and look at protein clusters and where they are is very exciting. So generally, I think people see the potential for this technology to really answer some important questions about how this development process actually happens. I think we have a very good working relationships. I think we perhaps are a little bit unique in that although we both take, take strong positions on certain things, I find that frequently George is able to actually convince me of his view and it seems like possibly sometimes I convince him of my view and I think that creates a much better collaborative working environment. Yeah, also, like, you know, in the projects that we are working with, there are like, you know, several layers. You know, the uh, optics, there is the mechanics, there is the computer science behind it. So it's good to always have someone to bounce ideas. So it's, uh, it's a big plus that... <laughs> good to have someone else to blame when things go badly, let's say that. <laughs>